<laughs> a little youth hostel. Yes. Uh, our next guest is a lovely and uh, certainly a talented model who has appeared on more than 200 magazine covers around the world, and she has just now been named a spokesmodel for Revlon. Please welcome the lovely Cindy Crawford. Yikes. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. You're, you're very, very young, aren't you? You're just a kid. 23. 23 years old? Yeah, you look, you look even younger. Congratulations on the big Revlon deal. Now, what, is, what does that mean? Free lipstick? <laughs> yeah, and that, that and hopefully more freedom. More freedom to do? Anything I want. Yeah. Uh, tell me where you're from originally. I'm from DeKalb, Illinois. From DeKalb, Illinois. You know, we have folks here from Iowa. I know, 16. I was in the town hall back there already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm from Indiana. Yeah. One state west would be you. Illinois, then. And then one state west would be Iowa. Midwest. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and did you, did you have a regular childhood? Where did you go to school? DeKalb High School. Mm -hmm. yeah. Went on to college where? Northwestern. What did you study there? I studied um, chemical engineering. Well, really, in the freshman year, you don't really... Right. I had gone on a scholarship with intentions of engineering. Chemical engineering sounds fairly uh, difficult. Was it tough? Well, I mean, it was calculus and chemistry. Yeah. And what did you want to be when you were studying chemical engineering? I think anything but a chemical engineer. <laughs> I, I, I went, I got a, an academic scholarship, and for women to, um, it's easy to get a scholarship in engineering because they want women in that field. Mm -hmm. But still, in all, you have to have the, the goods to get the job done, right? I mean... Yeah, no, I mean, that was sort of my thing that I was good at in school, was math. And uh -huh. wasn't, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, so I figured I might as well go for a few years yeah. and just figure it out. And, and then how did you uh, start modeling? When did this happen? I was modeling... Um, I started modeling when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And then just after school and summer job, and then sort of in, when I was in college, it became... It was competing too much for my time, so yeah. I had to make a commitment to one or the other. And do, do chemical engineers tend to be really good looking? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's just a I'm silly, sorry, don't yes. worry about okay. it, don't worry about it. Uh, and, and then, so now, of course, you're doing it full time and making a huge sums of money, and, and that's great and so forth. Uh, and you did this uh, Playboy thing. That's, this is pretty exciting. It's a whole uh, uh, spread here with you in black and white, and it was done by Herb Ritz. You know, Herb Ritz actually took my picture a long time ago. He did? Yeah, he really did. Was it for the bride's cover? No, it wasn't for the bride's cover. It was, it was I, I forget what it was, but it, uh, one of the, I think, TV shopper. <laughs> uh, but I see here that you and Herb went to, um, by the way, did you get to meet her? <laughs> you, you and Herb got to go, no, you probably didn't meet her. Uh, you and Herb got to go to Hawaii to shoot this, right? Yeah. Now, was that exciting? Have you ever been to Hawaii before? Yeah, I've been before, but I'd never been. Um, we wanted to go where there's black sand, mm -hmm. yeah. and we went to Kona, which... But, you know, the pictures are in black and white, so really what difference would it have made? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It really doesn't. Maybe we just wanted to go there. Yeah. Well, they're, they're lovely pictures. Thank you. Uh, do you enjoy traveling with your work? Yeah, I do, actually. I mean, it's, it's, sometimes it's, it's hectic, and it's, you're, not, you're sort of sick of in a suitcase all the mm -hmm. time. But, I mean, I've got to go so many places that I'm sure I never would have got to go. For example, give us a couple of those places. China, yeah. the Himalayas, and India. All on modeling assignments? Yes. Now, when you go to one of these places like India or China, are you, are you just followed by uh, packs of people, just stunned by not only the, the fact that you're lovely, but by the fact that you're American. a little, yeah, an American and tall? Well, yeah. It, <laughs> some, some places we've been, you know, I mean, they haven't seen. I've been places where they don't see Caucasian people mm -hmm. at all. They're, but they're, they, you know, they really, they sort of just think we're ridiculous. I was in Senegal, and um, I was doing a picture with like six Senegalese women behind me walking, and we had to keep walking the same, back and forth, back and forth. And they finally said, we don't want to do this anymore. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. They felt sorry for me because that's my job. Yeah. They yeah. said, this is crazy that she has to do this for a living. So, yeah. you know, here they are. They had walked two days to sell a basket full of peanuts for like five cents. Yeah. And they felt sorry for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And, uh, but they were getting paid to do this, right? Oh, I think they gave them, yeah. 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 So wh what do you want to, do you want to become an actress? Is that what uh, a lot of models want to do? That's what a lot of models want to do. And it's sort of the cliche model wants to be an actress. Yeah. I had never really thought about it, but I must say that I'm starting to 
find it maybe something I might want to experience or yeah. try. You know, I notice in some photos you have one of these, well, and you and you, ha the and you have one of these here, uh, and in other photos you don't have one of those. Right. Is it now? Is that a real one of those? <laughs> <laughs> it's there. It is there. Yeah. Now, has anybody ever? But how come they take it out in some photos? Well, when I first started, you know, they had, they weren't really sure if they sort of thought it was beautiful or not and mm -hmm. a little bit afraid now it's accepted mm -hmm. and everyone leaves it on but well, sometimes they flip the thing and it's on this side i get letters say there's another model that looks just like you and her mole's on the other yeah. side you ever see any photos of, uh, of you with it maybe in the middle of your head wouldn't that be <laughs> when i was in india <laughs> too much time with chemicals will cause that uh but uh, did, did anybody ever suggest you and i know that this is the kind of thing i would resent uh, suggest you that, you know, get rid of it, because they could, I guess, take that yeah, off. Yeah, when I they? started, they, they sort of wanted me to, but the thing is, is I would have done, I wanted it when I was a kid, you know, sure, you hit sure, anything sure. that makes you different. No, yeah. I mean, as a kid, I went, I mean, I hated it. My yeah. mom said, you can have a scar or a mole, and I just accepted yeah. it. But now it's, it's funny, because now it's like my trademark, even though it was, I don't, like, when I look at myself in the mirror, I don't, it's not the, the first thing I notice yeah. in the morning, it's, to me, it's just part of my face. If you want, later up in the office, I can take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, congratulations. Uh, you, you lead an exciting life, and you're uh, certainly a lovely woman, and it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for being here. Me too. This uh, is Cindy Crawford, and we'll be right back with the entire population of Bowling Island.